Open Veins of Latin America, Five Centuries of the Pillage of a Continent by Eduardo Galeano is a powerful and thought-provoking book. It explores the history of the exploitation of Latin America by European and North American countries. The book is divided into five sections and each section covers a particular period in the history of Latin America. The first section, The Prehistory of Pillage, looks at the history of the exploitation of Latin America prior to the arrival of the Europeans. It covers the period from the time of the first European explorers to the conquest of the Aztec and Inca empires. This section outlines the various ways in which the Europeans used the natural resources and labor of the native peoples of Latin America to enrich themselves. The second section, The Colonial System, covers the period of colonial rule in Latin America. It examines the exploitative system of colonial rule and the resulting economic and political inequality. It also looks at the effects of the introduction of new crops and livestock, as well as the enslavement of native peoples. The third section, the independence period, examines the period of independence from colonial rule. This section looks at the ways in which the Latin American countries tried to free themselves from the control of foreign powers. However, it also shows how foreign powers sought to maintain their influence over the region through economic and political interventions. The fourth section, the neocolonial period, looks at the period from the end of World War II to the present day. It examines the various ways in which Latin American countries have been exploited by foreign powers, such as through unequal trade agreements and the use of debt to maintain economic and political control. The fifth section, the present situation, examines the current state of Latin America and the challenges it faces in terms of economic development. It looks at the various factors that have contributed to the current economic and political situation, such as the effects of neoliberalism, poverty, and corruption. Galliano concludes the book with a call for Latin American countries to reclaim their sovereignty and to move towards a more equitable economic model. He argues that this will require a shift away from the current neoliberal model and towards a more sustainable and equitable approach to development. That's it. Thank you so much for tuning in.